Welcome Virgos and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 18th of October through to Sunday the 24th of October 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. Virgos, as we are approaching a full moon on the 20th of October 2021, I've got some baseline uh, crowning wisdom messages here. Um, for your reading as well. Now, this full moon that's coming in on the 20th is known as the Hunter's Moon, and this is bringing about abundance, plentiful, um, overflowing with blessings, okay? And as we approach uh, this full moon, this is the time to surrender to uh, the divine, okay? Um, to divine spirit universe, your higher self. Um, this week, uh, whatever has been bothering you, whatever, ha whatever has been um, taking up a lot of your energy, time, um, sort of just, you just can't find a resolution for, it's this climax now. Um, it's all those aspects in your life coming to a head, coming to a conclusion, coming to a turning point. And that is why um, it's so important to surrender to the divine because it's a cycle. It's a cycle you've gone through, whatever the situation is. And the last part of that cycle to finally close it out is, um, is, is for you to surrender it to divine, okay? Know that this is going to bring about change. It's going to bring about some sort of emotional um reaction or explosion um but know that the odds are going to be in your favor so stay calm stay cool collected um and just know there is going to be a bit of hard work and that hard work for many of you is going to be to actually surrender the situation to divine spirit universe here we can see the uh, clear quartz which is your crown chakra opening up allowing divine spirit universe to take control of the situation but also we see this violet and flickers of blue here um this is unveiling your third eye chakra to see the solution to see the conclusion to see that turning point many of you may get messages or you may have to have a conversation either kind of with yourself okay um or have a conversation with somebody else all right but the key thing is that messages are coming messages are coming to unveil your third eye chakra um and that is why uh, whatever it is you are going through right now the conclusions are within reach so as the full moon comes into eclipse whatever has kept you in the darkness uh, you're going to see very very clearly okay what it is that needs to be done what it is the resolution is um technically this card is all about doors slamming shut okay the situation um as you surrender to divine spirit universe your higher self is out of your hands just know whatever this situation is that's resonating for you already um is part of a soul contract that you made with divine spirit universe your higher self to experience and it's part of your spiritual growth it's part Part of your evolution it's something that you signed up for so allow the situation to unfold um naturally um try not to overthink try not to worry truly truly release the situation to divine spirit universe because that last cycle of whatever it is you're going through um it is only divine spirit universe that can handle it for you for many of you you may have to let go someone or something whether you want to or not, and it may require forgiveness of self or forgiveness of this person, regardless of whether they deserve it or not. Um, and the key thing is it's because it is to allow you to shut the door or to allow Divine Spirit Universe to shut the door in the situation in order to open a new door for you. OK, um, and it's to help you get onto the path of um, healing. All right. For many of you Virgos, whatever it is that um, is uh, that needs to close down, that is coming to a conclusion, it's certainly around your heart with the green coming in. And also it's you are good enough. OK, so for many of you, uh, what I am picking up um, and, and what I picked up in your channeled message, which I'll get into in a moment, is that um, somebody walked away. All right. Somebody walked away. Um, and it left you feeling as if you weren't good enough, all right? Um, confused, regretful, a little bit apprehensive, scared, okay? Um, 
let's start let's start shaking and uh, let's start shuffling shaking um maybe some of you need to 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 sh to shake shake things up okay by having a conversation to get closure um your channeled message was all about um somebody walking away uh you feeling very uh confused regretful um a little bit scared or apprehensive um it created a real um that explosion of emotions um and many of you may not even really understand what the heck happened okay know that whatever it is you've been wishing um and dreaming for okay sorry about that virgos uh the doorbell just went so as i was saying um your channeled message was that whatever it is that you have um been dreaming or manifesting know that it is coming into fruition okay many of you are being guided to to trust to surrender to divine spirit universe whatever happens between whoever you are connecting with it really really left you feeling um i, I would say quite a low vibrational um it's time to just let it go now let it go change is coming um and guess what they specifically um guided me to love all right so um you're being guided to raise your vibration know that you are good good enough surrender whoever walked away surrender to that to divine spirit universe i and and, and i don't normally say to people let somebody go okay but in this circumstance this is not a um a transformation or a change uh, this is somebody that you're being guided to let go because it feels as if something better is coming around the corner somebody that is going to love you for you but it almost starts with you you have to love yourself you have to nurture um all that is around you and nurture yourself let go and that new love is definitely coming through the door all right let's take a look and see what your crowning uh, messages are telling us my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your crowning message to the question how does the soulmate thank you Wow, look at that hunger. So hunger is all about, um, many of you may be in pain, okay? Hunger is all about um, uh, calling out divine spirit universe and the pain that you are going through. Um, and it, it also feels as if uh, many of you are being guided to um, focus on um, the hunger for life, the hunger for love for self. And it feels as if with that um, um, sort of sun coming up, that whatever it is that you're being guided to let go, whatever pain that you are um, uh, going through right now, um, it, it, it's like they're guiding you to take the action, the yellow here of that um, uh, sun uh, or moon, um, which is the wolf moon actually so it's it's the moon you're being guided to um to almost how can i put this take the action um to put yourself first basically um find that hunger that passion um for life for love for yourself because whatever the situation is that left you really confused, um, yeah, look at that, uh, void, very confused, very alone, um, very much in the dark. Um, this is the time now for you to go on that healing journey. For many of you, whoever walked away, um, whoever walked away from you, it feels as if it was some time ago. This isn't somebody that walked away um, you know, yesterday or a few weeks ago, it feels as if it's somebody that's walked away uh, for a while. And that's why it's been kind of playing with your spirit. You, it's, it's almost like you, you're not yourself anymore. Uh, this is a time to rest. Okay. A time to rest, surrender to divine spirit universe. Know that mother earth has got you. Um, if you have felt alone, um, very much in despair, it feels as if you're being called, you're being called to, to, to pick yourself up, dust yourself off and just surrender to divine spirit universe because you will get through this. Trust and believe 
um, in the love that is around you, um, those that are close to you, um, universal love, but also as well, it feels as if you're being guided to find that love for self. So remember I was saying that uh, forgiveness, um, you're being guided to forgive whoever walked away. Forgive yourself um, for whatever it is you, you, you haven't let go yet, okay? But that darkness... That place, many of you may have gone through a bit of a dark night of the soul. And look at that, the realisation. I couldn't have picked a better card uh, for your final um, crowning message card. Virgos that I am reaching to, um, your spirit team are coming in and saying, look, there is light at the end of the tunnel, all right? Only you hold the key um, for this lock. OK, um, and it almost feels as if uh, whatever it is that you're surrendering to divine spirit universe, um, it is bigger than you. And it's something that may have plagued you for a while. OK, um, the conclusion that I feel that is within your reach is that it's time to come out of that darkness time to come out of that void um time to focus and take action on for yourself um find that hunger tenacity that fire in your belly to move forward and let the situation go okay because if you can find the courage to walk through and unlock the key to your future allow divine spirit universe to finally shut that door behind you um it looks really really bright it does look bright but it's going to take um it's going to take a lot of action on your side and the reason i say that is the amount of yellow that's coming in which is connecting with your solar plexus so not only do you have to take action to surrender to divine spirit universe your higher self but also um take the action to put this situation behind you and move forward all right it's like you're being guided to face the reality of the situation i don't know the circumstances um they're not telling me that but what i am picking up is that many of you have been um, in a place of darkness, in a place of very confused, um, staying up at night, thinking about um, whoever walked away from you. Many of you may not have had closure. So a, a conversation may come in or a message may come in either from your spirit team um, to give you that closure or this person may just pop up out of the blue um, to give you some sort of closure but that crescendo that conclusion of whatever happens with you and the person that you're connecting with is coming to a close this week let's have a look and see what your crowning wisdom message is on a soul level because whatever it is you and this person have gone through, it's something that you signed up for, uh, Virgos. And it was part of your spiritual uh, journey, your awakening, your growth and evolution. My angels and spirit guides, oh, thank you. Do you know, it's really, in. oh gosh, we've got, okay, that's, that's too many cards. I'm going to put these back, um, but I, they're, they're, they're guiding me to still go through them. Lifting the veil. This is your third eye um, opening. Okay. Questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. Yeah. So it's like you're seeing things from the reality. Okay. Um, seeing things through your third eye chakra um, so that you can let something go. I'm sorry. Defenselessness. Right, writing past wrongs uprooting so 
like I said, many of you may be looking for an apology. Many of you may not have had full closure. Um, remember I was saying about forgiveness, okay? Forgiveness of self, but also forgiving this person. Even if you don't have that conversation, um, it feels as if your spirit team will speak to you um, through signs, dreams, synchronicities, visions, um, but you're being guided to almost... Um, forgive them within your heart okay because that is what is going to trigger you to go on to that healing process and breath of the cosmos my will to thy will micromanaging the universe so for, for many of you if you've been wishing manifesting for this person to come back into your life um it almost feels as if you've got to let that go now because it's like you are um trying to manage what your soul contract was to experience um this experience with this person okay um and you're trying to manage the outcome uh and it's time to let it go it's time to let it go and allow the will of divine spirit universe um to come into fruition and that is going to require you to surrender the situation to them it's almost like it's not your will anymore, okay? Um, it is the will of divine spirit universe, your higher self, because that is the soul contract that you made. And with the blue flame coming in, which a lot of um, zodiac signs during this full moon seem to be getting, but this is an awakening, it's activation. It is, if you imagine the twin flame, um, the blue flame is even more powerful because the blue flame is your direct connection with divine spirit universe, your higher self. Um, and it's time now for you to co-create with divine spirit universe, whatever it is you have been manifesting, wishing, hoping, dreaming for. Um, it is going to come into fruition, but it may not come in the form in which you expect it, particularly if many of you are manifesting and wishing for this relationship to um, be transformed or for there to be reconciliation. Um, it feels as if... Um, this new path that your team want you to take, that is where the new love is going to come in, okay? It may not be in the way in which you have asked for it, but they have heard your, your cries, your pleas, okay? Just one card, please. Oh, they've given me two. So your team really want to talk today. Wow, look at that. Star Brothers, Horus Energy, protection, loyalty, safety, trust. Know that your spirit team are around you. Look at the birds here. Uh, they're gonna, that's your spirit team coming in with messages to protect you, to guide you, um, to uh, show you the way, to illuminate the way. Know that, that um, uh, your loyalty to your beliefs, your loyalty to knowing and... Uh, reaching out to your spirit team for help um, to alleviate um, whatever pain or whatever it is you're going through. Uh, they are letting you know that you are protected. You can trust them. You are safe. And the whale and orca elders share your song share your song frequency of sound dive in deep. So many of you, it very much feels as if you're being guided to uh, trust. Um, that your um, your song or what it is you have been uh, howling, almost um, praying, manifesting, uh, trusting divine spirit universe to come in with answers. Um, they 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 are hearing your songs, okay, um, and they know that whatever has affected you has affected you in a very very deep 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 way um, and so they're asking you for, to go a little bit deeper trust them a little bit further um, and surrender 
surrender the situation to divine spirit universe trust them that they will protect you as you come out of this place of low vibrational energy because you are good enough you are greatly loved you are greatly protected um, and they just want you to take that step and now and completely surrender to divine spirit universe um, so that they can shut that door behind whatever it is that really struck you very 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 deeply all right but it may require you to to go deep in order to initiate that healing process wow okay uh virgos deep deep heavy reading for you um if it's resonating please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already it really does help to push the video out to other Virgos. And if you do choose to subscribe, it does enable you to get those notification messages of when I upload new messages, all right? Um, and also, of course, it does support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support and encouragement. It's really, really appreciated. And I hope that all of you get something useful and meaningful out of this message. And I, on, on a personal note, um, I am I'm, I'm so sorry that you guys are going through this. Um, I appreciate it's not going to be for all of you Virgos, okay, but this is a specific group of you um, that are really in some deep pain here, okay. Let's see how this is all connecting now uh, with you and your soulmate. Let's hope we can, we can pick up this new love that's coming in. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does these soulmates of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 18th of October through to Sunday the 24th of October 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Virgo that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me, thank you. Virgos, any of the cards that jumped out in the pre-shuffle whilst meditating for this reading, if they come out on camera, I will call them out for you. All right. Do you know also what I'm picking up? Um, many of you may have um, gone into a bit of depression or isolation. It's time to um, let that go now. Look at that eight of fire. So this is communication, eight of wands coming in, some sort of communication. Um, let's continue because I don't know whether or not that is the person that walked away or um, communication from your spirit team. Oh, wow. OK, so we've got the ten of fire, which is the uh, ten of uh, wands. Communication over a burden. OK. This feels as if it's the um, the person that walked away. Many of you may get the closure that you need, you know. Messenger of ear. Wow. So this is um, equivalent to the Knight of um, Swords. It feels as if um, Virgos, you want some sort of truth. This... <sighs> I don't think I can make this up, to be fair. Um, uh, you didn't get closure. And it feels as if the person that walked away, it's quite burdensome for them. They know that there is a communication, there's communication um, that, that that's coming in. And it may actually be you going towards this person, wanting some sort of truth, wanting closure in order for you to move forward. Because it feels as if you want to kind of know. It's like you 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 want to talk about something that was burdensome, but it's burdensome for them as well for some reason. Let's continue. Mike, thank you. Oh gosh. Okay, so we've got the king of water here. Male or female. It feels as if um oh. It feels as if you still love this person. You've got a lot of love for this person. 
and many of you still want to give. So your channel's message that this has really um, upset you and, and really, really brought you to a place of um, depth of darkness and despair, maybe even depression. You want to talk about it. The star card. OK, so whoever you are connecting with could be an Aquarius or you could have Aquarius in your chart. Um you saw this person as your wish fulfillment. But guess what? The pull between this person and you, it's because you've lived many, many lives with this person. Do you remember I said to you that um, whatever it is that you are going through with this person, you have gone through this with you've gone through this similar situation lifetime after lifetime after lifetime in this lifetime on this earth it's the it's now the time for you to close that cycle so many of you um in past lifetimes or even past relationships may have gone through a situation where you've loved unconditionally and something seems to have always happened that um because you loved deeply when you love you love very very deeply and it always seems to be something that just goes wrong. Something that just always goes wrong that that's, seems to always leave you feeling as if you're not good enough. And it really does feel as if over the years and certainly over past life, past life experiences, it's chipped away at your heart, basically. This void, I feel as if you're being guided to surrender to divine connect with your inner self so that and connect with mother earth so that she can return all those shattered pieces of your heart back to you it feels as if this is the time this in this lifetime for you to almost reclaim those shattered pieces of your heart and for many of you you do want to um you want to say your peace and I feel that this person, whoever you are connecting with that walked away, they know, they know that you loved them, you know. They know. They know that you loved them unconditionally. And that is what's burdening them. They may even know intuitively that there is a conversation that needs to be had. They may even come to you to, to, to talk because it's like walking away knowing that you had all this love for them um, is like unsettling their spirit. Let's, um, let's clarify. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify how does these soulmates of Virgo, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 18th of October through to Sunday the 24th of October 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Virgo that I'm allowed to see? For their highest good and for the... Thank you. Wow. Yeah, look. They're coming... They're, do you know what, right, uh, Virgos? This person that um, I picked up from your channeled message that walked away, they want to communicate. They want to come in and communicate to clear something up. There may have been a third party that got involved and that's why it feels really burdensome for them because they knew that you loved them. It feels as if they want to put work to bring peace. I wouldn't say that they want to get back together with you, but they just want Whatever it is that is burdensome for them, maybe it's the way in which they walked away. They want to put the work in to bring about peace. They know, whether you are male or female, that you wanted something solid. You're ready for um, marriage, long-term commitment. And that it feels as if this relationship was kind of going in that direction. And then all of a sudden it just stopped. 
Didn't I say intuitively they know that you want to that that you want to say something? And there's the high priestess. This is your energy. There's something about you and the way in which you parted that is that is bothering them. And then there's the Ten of Wands again. And it feels as if they know intuitively the only way that they are going to alleviate this burden and put down that burden is to have a conversation with you. It almost feels as if they need to um, let you speak your piece, basically. But they want to clear something up. You may have thought that there was a third party. Maybe they want to clear that up. But whatever it is that happened between the two of you, this is big, big burden. And they know, they know that you want to talk about it. Oh, look at that. And look... Wow. With the Hermit card, that's your energy, Virgo. It feels as if you want to talk and it feels as if you're being guided by your spirit team, A, to put down the burden or maybe even let go of this need to talk. Let it go. For some of you, um, it feels as if uh, you could be also guided in order to put down that burden that you need to have a conversation and then let it go. Whatever it is with that nine of swords, that's what's kept you up at night. It's because you love this person unconditionally. They may have also shown you a lot of love during this relationship and that's why there is like no understanding but look at that 10 10 the cycle is coming to an end there that crescendo over whatever happens that conclusion the turning point is in reach this week it feels as if you're going to get the closure that you need thank you in order for you to have a new beginning yeah yeah many of you it's interesting because your channeled message um it was clearly, even though it was saying to me, whatever it is you're dreaming or manifesting or whatever is coming into fruition, it didn't feel like it was um, with this person. But many of you may have been wishing, hoping for that. But it feels as if um, you're being guided to let go of this situation, let go of this low vibrational energy this darkness that this situation has put you in in order for you to go towards a new beginning but for many of you you may need to have an actual physical conversation with this person for some of you you may need to just forgive them in your heart and move forward because they're trying to say to you that this this um despair this confusion it's time to let that go it's time to put down that bird, put down that burden. You know, many of you, this person may actually come towards you and have a conversation just out of the blue because they want to clear something up. The two of you are very burdened because it feels as if the two of you were moving towards that direction of long-term commitment marriage or you guys may have been in a very committed long-term relationship and it just sort of like ended quite abruptly wow look at that the eight of cups they walked away your wish fulfillment walked away and it feels as if you're being guided to let them carry on walking away. It's time for you to go in a direction, a different direction. It feels like this is not the person for that your spirit team. What? Oh, wow. The star twice. This person, I would have said... Um, you guys made a soul contract over whatever it is you're going through. Them walking away is part of the learning. 
I know that you guys are not even going to want to hear that. It was part of the learning. But the, the learning, the lesson was to actually know when to walk away. The realisation that actually your future is in a different direction. Notice you're back to back with this person. They saw you as their wish fulfilment, by the way, as well. And it feels as if the two of you, like I said, um, may not in your physical selves, but spiritually, you both have, you both made a soul contract to go through this experience lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. And it really does feel like, Virgo, the lesson here as part of your evolution feels a little bit twofold. One, that um, knowing to let go of this person, to focus on loving yourself and knowing that you are good enough and shutting the door so that something that is more deserving of your love can come, can come your way. But also the lesson for this person was to almost correct a wrong. Do you remember the cards that we I showed you that all for those four cards? It's like their lesson was to correct a wrong, almost like a bit of a karmic debt that needs to uh, be paid. And part of that right in a wrong is to give you closure, basically, through talking. In this lifetime, it feels as if this connection, the depth of the pull between the two of you, it almost feels as if all the past life cycles of um, this person walking away or the circumstances in which this person walked away has come to that crescendo now. It's like the cycle needs to be cut, the cord needs to be cut in order for you to... Um, have both of you have fully paid that karmic debt of that contract that you made with each other. And the only way perhaps is for many of you that want to have a conversation, if you can let that go, it almost feels as if the conversation will come to you because this person is feeling, like I said, how they walked away or the circumstances in which they walked away is bothering their spirit, it's unsettling their spirit. So it sounds really weird, but it's like you're being guided to put down the burden of wanting to talk because the conversation will come to you in some shape, form or another, which will help you to come out of this confusion, regret, silent treatment and move forward to something new. Wow. I, do you know something? I feel like I need to pull another card, another couple cards. Wow. Aquarius is very, very strong. You might also be dealing with another Virgo as well. Thank you. Seven of Earth, yeah. So this person knows that you put a lot of work. They know that you put a lot of work. Like I said, you love this person unconditionally. And it feels as if um, you may have been waiting for them to put the same amount of work. But they didn't, not at the same level as you. Thank you. Oh, look, they're giving me two. This is you, Hermit. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? Look at the keys and look at the realisation. You have got the power within you to unlock. Unlock this situation and move forward. Two of Earth. Yeah, many of you are feeling really, really unsettled. 
really really unsettled this person knows that you put a lot of work and effort in this is you wanting to talk to clear something up. I feel that that's what you're being guided um, to let go. The conversation I feel will come to you in some shape, form or another. It almost feels as if, uh, Virgo, the toughest thing for you to do is to forgive this person without actually having a conversation. And then the conversation will come in. To give you the closure it almost feels as if you have got you're being guided to know that it's time to shut the door and use that key to walk a different path thank you my god look at that the seven of earth clarify the seven of earth This person knows that you put a lot of work in. But also it feels as if they're waiting. They're waiting to have that conversation. This person, it feels as if they're being moved quite heavily spiritually to talk to you. It almost feels as if that's the right thing for them to do. Um, With that Empress energy... Uh, like I said, it feels as if the two of you were going down that road of um, long-term commitment marriage. They know that you put a lot of work in. They may have also put a lot of work in at one point and then they stopped. Yeah, look at that. They're being guided to put this all behind them now to give you the closure that you need in order for both of you to move forward. It's like I said, I don't feel that this person will talk to you to get back together with you. It feels more that they're like their spirit is pricking them, that they need to bring peace before you both really, really shut the door on this so that you can move forward. Wow, heavy read, Virgos. This is not going to be for all of you. This is not going to be for all of you. I apologise. But this is a this is quite a heavy reading. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. Yeah, I feel as if it's going to take a lot of strength and courage. Could be dealing with the Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. It's going to take a lot of strength and courage to close that door and move forward. With your life, okay? But just know that you're going to be celebrating. And I feel that you're going to be celebrating with somebody else that is going to um, give you some balance. Somebody that's, oh wow, look at that. Whoever is this new love that is round the corner, this is the this is the person that you'll marry. It's like whatever it is that is unbalancing you, that's got you in this state of darkness, in this state of isolation, many of you depression. Your spirit team are saying, let it go. Let it go. And surrender to divine spirit universe. They will protect you, they will guide you, and they will bring in somebody else that will restore balance to your life. But it's going to take a lot of strength and courage for you to finally close that door on this old relationship and unlock and walk through that portal to this happiness and something more solid, something um, that I feel that you're somebody that you're going to end up marrying. This is the crescendo, this is the conclusion, this is the closing of doors of a past relationship that walked away from you. It's like now is the time. Wow. All right, let's get some advice for you. Um, gosh. Thank you. First advice, purpose. My dreams connect me to my purpose. And it feels as if your purpose right now is to just let this go. Let that person go and focus on yourself. 
and almost allow divine spirit universe to take you on that healing process so that this energy can come in and look at that abundance i am blessed with all i am blessed with and thankful for the abundance in my life and look at that i'm not being funny but that abundance card has come on that celebration and that four of wands it may not feel like it now virgos but this week is almost like you've got this opportunity, this portal, an opening for you to walk through, finally shut the door on whoever walked away from you and focus on yourself so that your spirit team can open the door on somebody more deserving of you. And it is going to take a lot of strength and courage. Remember what I said? When we were going through these cards, stay calm, cool, collected, because it's going to take a lot of work for you to let go of this person and maybe even let go of the need to talk to them. And your final card, your advice card, my angels and spirit guides, I'm going to thank you. Ah. Uh, dreams the universe speaks to you through your dreams so i feel that um remember i was saying that like conversations messages as you surrender to divine spirit universe they will speak to you they will guide you through your dreams and they will guide you through the purpose the understanding the lessons that you signed up with this person lifetime after lifetime after lifetime unveiling your eyes we saw that in those four cards as well unveiling your eyes to what doesn't serve you anymore and letting it go and that is the purpose of going through the experience that you've gone through and as you do that that's when the flow of abundance remember the hunter's moon on the 20th of october is all about abundance and it feels as if soon you're going to be celebrating a marriage long-term commitment it almost feels as if you're going to be overflowing and many of you may dream this person so look out for those signs and synchronicities. It's coming. The conclusions are finally coming. All right. Virgos, I'm going to leave that there for you. Really deep reading. Um, uh, it's not going to resonate for all of you. Um, but if it does resonate, please feel free to click that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Virgos, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye-bye.